Hello all, welcome to the edition of King Joe's Kingdom of Collectibles. Uh, this edition, uh, massive matchbox and Hot Wheel Hall. Picked up one Intellivision game. Uh, some Ghost Whisperer and CSI comic books. One board, I think I said one board game. So let's just start off with the board game. At a yard sale, original Wheel of Fortune. Board game for a dollar. Made me holla. Uh, I'll start off with the games. Uh, when I ordered this from eBay. Actually, the original seller, I bought four games off of a guy on eBay. And that was over a month ago. It kept showing, you know, I paid. It kept showing that he didn't ship it. She didn't ship it. He didn't ship the four of them. I had Triple Action, Bomb Squad, Math Fun, and uh, Astro Smasher. It was, it was one, I already had the game, right? But I, it was $30 for, $30 for the three. Well... He never shipped them, so I got a refund, so I had to buy this off of another seller. So I got triple action for the Intellivision. And when he saw the this X-Men game, I told you how it was missing pieces. Well, I managed to get the survival guide for it. So that'll be finitoed. I actually still need one X piece I have to find. Emailed one seller... He didn't want to break. He didn't want to sell me the two pieces for five bucks. I sent another seller one. I said, you know, give me one of each. If you can sell me one of each color X chip, I'll give you ten bucks to ship them all together, the, the six pieces and, and ten bucks, because he wanted twenty five dollars for his lot. Which well, I'll probably end up end them happening is I'll probably end up paying the twenty five dollars and buying a bloody lot of the pieces, because I swear to God, people are greedy. But let's start with the matchboxes. And Hot Wheels. Start off with the two Matchbox cars. Picked up. What is this bad boy? Food Truck. MBX Adventure City. Food Truck. Got. Fifty Six Buick Century Police Car. Heroic Rescues. And now, Hot Wheels. Actually, bought, I actually know I got a double of this one. I bought two of the same one. But it's a new, it's a, it says new for 2015. Because the guy had all these cars for a buck a car. So I was like, hey, that's, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to hit it up. So I managed to get this one, Street Stealth. That'll go out to the garage. I spent fifty dollars. I got fifty cars. Rip Rod, new for twenty fourteen. Uh, Poison Arrow. Take these guys down. Let's see. New for 2020. RV there yet? Uh, new for 2015. Ice Shredder. A slalom car. Uh, Ford Performance Series. Matchbox, I mean Hot Wheel, three of eight. 92 Ford Mustang. Another uh, new for 2014. Highway Off Road. F flyby. Motorcycle. Let's grab this stack here now. Uh, another Ford Performance Series. Four of eight. 99 Mustang. <sighs> Flyby. Different color. This is, I think, the, the following year. This is 2015's. Ooh. 
Then uh, El Camino's Treasure Hunts number 11. Uh, tanker Truck. 2009 new model. Fast Gasser. New for 2015. 15.4 F-150, which, now let's see the next set, five, uh, dropped, uh, yeah. Highway City, Cannon Carver, new for 2014, Mountain Mahler, Custom Ford Maverick, new for 2018. Uh, 06 of 10, uh, 67 Pontiac GTO. Hot Wheel Flames, 52 Hudson Hornet. Another of the Ford High Performance, 5 of 8, Mustang Funny Car, new for 2013, High Wheel Showroom, 69 Dodge Charger Daytona, a new for 2016, Highway Showroom, Side Ripper, Highway Workshops, 67 Chevelle SS, 396. I actually liked, really liked this, this car when I saw it. I was like, hey, that's nice. Highway Showrooms again. Corvette Stingray. I got a kick out of this one, new for 2016. I actually need a new lawnmower, and it's funny, so I got a grass chomper. That is awesome. I should tell my wife I bought a lawnmower and see what she says, because we have to get a new one. My, uh, my went to use it the other day to mow my grass, and the, the thing won't engage. And last year they told me I was going to need a new one. So, Hot Wheels, Surfing School Bus. Then, uh, let's see, Hot Wheel City, new for 2013. Speed Box. New for 2013 again. Highway Racing. 13 Ford Mustang GT. Another new for 2013. Max Steel Motorcycle. Next group of five. You'll see some classics in here. Six of ten from a thing. Proper Chopper. Then uh, Highway Workshop again. 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. Highway Showroom again, new for 2013, Custom Cadillac Fleetwood, Highway Workshop, 70 Plymouth AA Arcuda, new for 2017, 7 Dodge Charger from the Fast and Furious line. Now, I want to 
saved them for last. Workshop again. 69 che uh, Chevelle SS396. Did I buy two of these? Then that number, you know, sort of rings a bell. That's the bad thing is when I was buying them, I went back twice. And the guy had some doubles. I actually, uh, actually had a couple doubles in my hand at one point. Combat Medic. Highway Art Cars. Then and now, Austin Martin, 1963, was that, DB5? Reminds me of the James Bond car, except that his was silver. That goes with the other ones. Let's see, new for 2017. Legends of Speed, Fair Lady 2000. Highway City, Supervan, SWAT. Sixty seven Pontiac GTO. Then picked up twenty twelve new models. Seventy one. Plymouth Roadrunner. Thirty two Ford. Hot Wheels Off Road. Sixty eight El Camino. Highway City. Bread box. Sixty three Mustang. Two concept. Two thousand lemon. So this is ten years old already. You know you can't go wrong. I mean a buck car. Now, the ones that people you know that the, the crossovers like here. Highway City. Angry Birds Minion Pig. I'm a Roadhog! I want it. Uh, Highway Imaginators, new for 2013. Batman Live Batmobile. And then I got. Dun 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 dun. The 18 van. I pity the fool. And then, yes, Michael. Michael Knight's kit. And that does it for my Hot Wheel haul. Now, comic book wise. Now, I'm just going to round. Let you guys look at me real quick while I move the stack closer to me so I can zap them. Here we go Ghost Whisperer, issue two, cover B. Ghost Whisperer, I think I got a couple copies of this. What's this one's issue? Issue one, cover B. Issue 1, cover A. Issue 4, cover R.I. Two of five, cover B. The Muse. Issue 5, cover R.I. Issue 3, cover R.I. Now, for this whole lot here, these like 50 bucks, I paid 40 bucks for that included shipping. Cover four, uh, Issue 4, cover B, The Muse. Ghost Whisper, issue number 2, cover R.I. 
that's just an empty thing. Uh, Ghost Whisperer the Muse, issue 3, cover B. Again, cover issue 3, cover A. Uh, now, CSI. Now, these are all mixed up. CSI, issue number 1. I think this is cover B. Uh, CSI Demon House, issue 3. Nick Stokes on the cover. CSI issue number one. I think that's a cover A. This is Dying in the Gutter from CSI issue three. Oh, here's one of the other Ghost Whisperer stuff. Ghost Whisperer number five. Issue four. Issue 2, cover A. I actually have to rebag and board all these, but hey. Issue 3. Issue 2, cover B. Like, now there you go. There's the double. Here's another double. And I think this was already shown. That's issue 1, cover B. Issue number one, cover R.I. Oh, that's a designer address. I was like, how come there's stains on it? Okay, you know, that, that's a double, because I also got some double CSI issues. But they have issue number one, number two. Number two, cover B. Number three. Number three, cover B. Number four. Number five. Thick CSI Thicker Than Blood. That was just a one shot, one issue. Dying in the Gutter, issue one. Issue two. Well, I have three, four. I'm actually going to probably end up doing a video for a complete complete run of this. And there's five with Sericidal. Then you had CSI Bad Rap, issue one, issue two, 2B, or not to be, issue five, then Domino's. Issue 1, Issue 3, 3B, oh, that was Issue 2, wow, so 1, 2, 3, actually I have this one already, so that's, this is a double, 4, 5, and then there's the Demon House, 1, got doubles of it. Issue 2, Issue 3, Issue 5, two of them, and CSI Issue 2. So, uh, that does it for this haul. Uh, what I have is coming in the, in the mail yet is from eBay. Uh, I got those off of Facebook, a guy on Facebook. Most of the stuff on fa people on Facebook want an arm and leg for the comic books. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll score a decent deal. Like with, uh, I bought uh, 16 video games off of a guy, and 14 of them were NES cartridges, and two were uh, Wii games for 50 bucks. And in that lot, um, I ended up getting five doubles, and I ended up selling some of the doubles to a guy and got half my money back. I sell them just the doubles I got. I still have one of the most expensive doubles out of that lot. Still for sale. And I just have it booked for $30. I, it has, believe it or not, has, because I actually had an extra manual for So Contra, I have an extra copy of Contra for, for sale for $30. It has uh, the dust cover and the the manual with it. It just doesn't have a box. And I actually went on eBay looking to see how much a box was, and I was like, ooh. It's like, yeah, the the box would have cost me like seventy-five to hundred dollars just to buy the box for it, so then it could be complete. 
And I'm like, nah. In fact, uh, on my, my, my cabinets over there, I, I don't care if I get boxes for NES games. The only things I worry about is like, like Super NES games, yeah, I like to have the box. Uh, because the, how they're not squared or sort of rounded. So I was like, you know, even though I have like four or five Super NES games and N64, I have no loose N64 games. Uh, my mother-in-law is calling me. It's time to go pick her up. It's a, it's a Friday. So I get my mother-in-law from, uh, Friday at three to Wednesday morning. My wife takes her home after she drops Keegan off to school. So... My mother-in-law stays with me over the weekends. Well, almost a week. Uh, but, yeah, I'm not going to do anything with my uh, NES games anymore when it comes to like trying to make them complete. As long as I have the game cartridge, a dust cover for it, and the manual, I'll be happy. In fact, uh, half my NES games don't have manuals, and I've been buying them on eBay. And The, the, the price guide I have, it's pretty accurate when it comes to what you should actually get. And eBay lately, the prices are like double to triple what that book's telling with the with the, the computer price guide's telling me, and that gets updated like every week by what prices are. And uh, it like it'll say you know uh, manual for this game is worth three, it's, it's worth three bucks. Well, eBay they want five six, and it's like you know a lot of the guys you know, uh, I basically think a lot of it's greed. Because I, I actually know, like, some of the games, some of the prices, like, uh, it is greed. Because I, uh, well, I think I told you a lot in my, one of my last videos, a lady had Vest Dungeon Dragons by DC Comics, number one, on Facebook. She wanted $100 for it. I was like, it wasn't slabbed, it wasn't graded. Plastic bag, board, she wanted $100 for it. You can buy that whole run of, like, 36, 38 books for less than that. And you can't talk to some of these people. It's like, oh, you should you would like a lot of people, I mean, just their listings are nasty. You know, don't try to lowball me. I'm like, well, your prices are sort of like I know what I know what goes for on eBay. Half the prices on eBay are goddamn ridiculous. If you're gonna go buy the buy it now prices, you're smoking crack and coke. You're doing lines because a lot of these buy it now prices are way above what the books are worth. I mean, the way I value something is what did it sell at? Well, here's the best example. I did the video of the 1954 top scoop cards. Now, my dad paid $300 for the freaking Babe Ruth card. Just the other day, a card it was it was in lesser way lesser condition than my dad's co copy was, but I was thinking about picking it up, just to get it, you know, for that set, the second set, so it makes the set worth more money because I have the most expensive card in the set. Well, I didn't bid on it, and it went for fifty cents more than my max my max bid, so it actually sold for twenty dollars and fifty cents. Nobody else bought it. Nobody else bid on it. Now that's a card that. In that condition it was in, it was probably easy over $100. Now, it went for $20.50. I think it was like 5 bucks to ship it. So it's like $25. So it went basically a quarter of what the card was physically valued. Uh, I, I would grade it and value it at. Now, right there tells you a lot of stuff. It's like a lot of the comic books. You know, certain issues, you know, are cover price. And the dealers make them look scarce themselves. And then they jack the price up. And then a couple years from now, you won't get what you paid for it. But that's how it goes, you know. Uh, and that's how the market is. I, on the other hand, now anymore, I ain't going to buy nothing new. Uh, I did buy the the, the uh, Fortnite, whatever the hell you want. I'm still waiting for the one through six to come from one dealer. Uh, I did get the copies of number, the three different ver varieties of number one from one dealer. They came, so I probably put them upstairs. Uh, but... That'll be like, you know, because the only reason why I got it is my daughter wanted it. She wanted a code so she can get a free unlock character skin. So I'm like, well, when you get them, you can use them. But I'm not giving you my code. In fact, I actually have to, my Xbox, I have to take them up because I, my Xbox crack, crapped out on me like two weeks ago. Watching Netflix and I was like that. And stop. My daughter wanted me to bring her Xbox out to the living room. So I have the PS4 out there and the PS3. I downloaded a bunch of the 
streaming programs on each one of them. Of course, the PS3 doesn't support some of them. So basically, I've been using the PS4 now as as the the, the remake of. And I, I bought my daughter when she wanted the PS4. I bought her a charging station. She didn't use it. She wasn't using it. I pulled it. I went in the garage and dug it out. She actually took it in the garage and, and buried it. I found it, brought it back in the house, and now I'm using that charger for the, the controllers. My PS3, I bought it off of a guy on um, eBay. I should say my dad bought it for me for my birthday coming up in June. And uh, it was the FAT system. It had it came with four or five games and a controller. The controller didn't work at all. I went to like do something and it kept like it was bizarre. It anytime I tried to type it and won't let me type, it just kept boom 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 and kept putting like A. Like if I was on like the letter A, it just kept pop entering in and I was like hitting the bunch, didn't even stop it, it wouldn't stop. And uh I notified the guy, the guy did nothing. I didn't leave him feedback because, you know, it ended up costing me I ended up buying, a, I was going to buy another two controllers anyway, but the whole point of the matter was he didn't knock no money off the PlayStation. And I'm like, he should have because, you know, he should have knocked like $20 because I think my dad paid like 130 140 for it. He should have knocked $20 off, at least replaced me with the replacement for the controller because it cost me 20 some dollars for uh, a replacement controller. I ended up buying three of them. I figure have one, have another. And then have another one, and I, I keep, yeah, since it basically, most you'll play at a time is maybe two two people at a time. So then I have an extra controller in case, you know, one of the batteries dies. So that's the way, I actually would like to get another one. So I have four, four fresh, so basically I'll play it by myself probably. So at least I'll have one, when one dies I can put another one on. But just like my, my PS2, I have like four or five PS1 controllers. My PS2 I have five or six controllers because back then a lot of the games i have i have a lot of four player games like i have a game called shipwreck which was back in the day we used to have a blast with that game little pirate you just play sailor around you had to destroy the other pirate ships and whoever has the most sunken ships at the end of the game and the most treasure wins we had a we, me al and anthony used to make drinking games out of everything have go get a beer sit there and get a beer i sunk your ship drink i got a first down drink I scored a touchdown. Drink seven. Well, six. You had to count to six. Of course, I never counted slow. I used to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I, because uh, the one time, I, this is a funny story. One time Anthony played me in Madden football. Only time uh, I beat him 40 something to nothing. He was trashed. He was annihilated. Up until. I think two years ago, I was the only, I was only I was able to tell I had I had the only shutout in Madden against me and him, but two years ago, he beat me three nothing. Yeah, three nothing. Best I think that was the best football game me and him ever played against each other. Of course, he he eked it out, and I was a little bit upset because I'm a very competitive person and he. He managed to pull like three nothing. That's what you call a close game. In fact, uh, if it wasn't for me screwing the uh, messing up the pooch, he would never he would have never got that because I got greedy and I went for something on a fourth down and he ended up getting it because my defense was pretty damn pretty damn good. Yeah, I, I I shot myself in the foot that game. That's basically what I'm telling you. But he beat me. So I cannot say anymore that I had the only shutout. Of course, my shutout was landslide shutout. And his shutout, hey, three points. He won a field goal. But uh, I'm just waiting now to see what's going on with all the rest of the stuff got coming. I have more video games coming. I'm waiting, like I said, I'm waiting for a couple more Atari 5200 games. I'm waiting for another... In television game, uh, I think I have another Sega Dreamcast game coming. Uh, I have on my watch list a 7800, a Wii U, and a uh, um, Sega Master System. I don't think I'm... It all depends. And the sad thing is I even have uh, on it an original Nintendo because I saw one and was like... I doubt it. By the time it by the time it gets to the day the day of its it ends, it's probably gonna be over a hundred bucks. So I probably won't even buy it. It's from Goodwill, but if I can manage, if I can get if I pick that up cheap, 
I like to have double double systems in case my system cr cranks. I have another system like my Atari. I got five Ataris, 2600. So if one of my Ataris goes, I have a backup. I have a, well, I did have a backup for, at one point I had two placed. In fact, I'm taking up uh, the Xbox. I'm taking up the Xbox One that, cr that crashed. And I have a PS2. I'm taking those three systems up to a place in Wilkesbury probably next week to get fixed. I called them up, couldn't get in touch with them. I sent them an email. So yesterday I called them and they go, oh yeah, bring them up. I go, what about a ColecoVision? No. My God. That's the one thing I really want fixed. I want my the second ColecoVision I have fixed. It works, but it doesn't work to play Coleco games. It only plays Atari games with the expansion module. So it's got to be something when it comes to with the putting the, the cartridge in, that or a processor near it. Because if it's given output, video output to the television through the module one, because that everything goes right through the, the game system. There's got to be some some kind of flaw in from the cartridge port to the process that processor. So that's why I, I, I look at it because it powers on. It's not the toggle switch. That's the common problem with the good old uh, Coleco Visions. The switches get dirty and you have to be replaced. So uh, that's what I'm looking for. Let's do it next week when I get paid on Monday. Yep. There's my mother-in-law to tell me I got to go pick her up. So thank you guys for viewing and subscribing. King Joe out.